What's going on guys, Mary from iTech224, today I'm going to show you how you can update your MacBook Pro's memory. So I have a 2011 MacBook Pro and this is the first model with Thunderbolt and I went ahead and picked up 16 gigabytes of memory for it. Now I went ahead and got Corsair memory, this is Mac memory, you don't have to get this specific kind, just make sure everything matches up and I, I'll put the link for this in the description below. But it doesn't have to be this exact kind like I said, you're also going to need a double zero Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you guys get good ones because as you'll see in a bit I had to stop and because uh, I started stripping screws. So we're going to go ahead and just take all the screws off from the bottom. Just take them all off and make sure you keep them in a safe place. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Now, I had to stop because I started stripping screws because the screwdriver I have sucks. I had to go pick up a better one. So just make sure you guys start out with a good screwdriver so you don't mess anything up because these screws are, are easy to strip and they are hard to replace. So just make sure you take care of everything so that you don't have any problems. Now, once you unscrew all the screws, you're just gonna take off the back plate like I do here. It is pretty easy, just pull it off, there's not really much to it, nothing holding it down except for the screws that you just removed. So once you take that out, go ahead and open up your memory, cutting it all here, make sure you're careful so you don't drop it over the floor. I almost did that, but luckily I was okay. And also you are going to uh, uh, go ahead and start installing it. So before I did it, my computer was really dirty, so I went ahead and blew it out with the Rocket Air that I used for my camera took all the dust out of there so clean it up and then I went ahead with the install so there's two little tabs that you can see me pulling right now and those you just pull to the side and then it'll pop the memory up and there's one on top of the other so just pull it out bottom one is a little harder but it, it just work it out there and it'll it'll come out then I went ahead and installed the memory and it's exactly the same way you pulled it out just put it back in so it's not that hard just make sure you do the exact reverse the bottom one is a little bit tough I find but just keep working it and you'll get it in there it's not too hard just make sure you do everything right so you don't have to open it back up again and reinstall everything so then the top one is a much easier just make sure you hear a little kind of a click and once you hear that click it is in just push it back down and it is installed so go ahead and install the cover again it's pretty easy install the hardest part is taking off the cover believe it or not just screw everything in and uh, watch me do it in super speed. Uh, but once you get everything down, you should be able to go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. So go ahead and take it over to my desk and turn it on. And my computer takes forever to boot up. I do have an SSD coming in and that will hopefully fix those boot up times. But it does boot up and uh, very slowly, but that's not the RAM's fault. So one is, once it's boot up, you can go ahead and see that I do in fact have 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. It does detect it and uh, works very well. So I know 16 gigabytes